Well, this is out. A report that claims that one of First Lady Jill Biden's top aides has been a Me Too nightmare. But he's still considered virtually untouchable. According to the New York Post, staffers say Anthony Bernal has bullied and verbally sexually harassed colleagues for years. And the First Lady reportedly considers him her, quote, work husband, and that has kept him safe over the years, her opinion of him. Unnamed sources who previously worked with Bernal told The Post this. I have heard him say inappropriate things about people's sexuality. Another said, quote, it was a lot of inappropriate remarks. One summed it up this way. Classic me too. <laughs> Bernal is denying the claims and White House Chief of Staff Jeff Zients dismissed the allegations without an investigation, calling them unfounded attacks. But a former Biden official who worked with Bernal called Zients' response alarming. And here's a quote from him. It's widely known that Anthony's behavior is unacceptable. And to have a senior staff dismiss it like that tells everyone in the building that that kind of behavior is OK and it won't even be looked into if you can have the White House chief of staff come to your defense on issues that are widely known and deeply problematic. That certainly shows your influence. Where are we on the law with this? I, I would say that everybody in, in the uh, constellation of his bad behavior has a lawsuit. You are right, especially because since thanks to the Me Too movement, a lot of laws have been passed, especially from those vociferous Dems that say believe all women, where it lowers the standard of both proof and sort of allegations that you have to make mm -hmm. for there to be an accountability held in the workplace. And just a point that th this is Biden's culture, guys. People can have sex on the dais. People can bring coke into the White House. Someone can refer to someone else as their work husband, which I hate that phrase, by I'm the way. I'm not a fan. And because he's a pit bull, all of a sudden, no, that's okay. Or bulldog, the phrase was. A bulldog, that makes it okay. This is Biden's White House. Just keep that in mind as we continue exploring this. Well, I'm thinking it from this sense. Whether you were a victim of his, of sexual harassment or worse, you were a victim of a toxic work environment. Yep. That's everybody. Mm -hmm. If I could add, you know, when especially for the accused, because sometimes accusations aren't true, and you have, un, you have unnamed sources, sure. he should be calling for an investigation to clear his name. Great point. And yet there's uh. silence. So they, the accused deserve an investigation so that this kind of rumor doesn't linger. I mean, that's the only way to handle this. So my big question, though, was why does Jill Biden have that much power? Why wouldn't it be the president? And let's remember what the president has told staffers. If you disrespect others, he will fire you on the spot. Watch. But I'm not joking when I say this. If you're ever working with me and I hear you treat another colleague with disrespect, talk down to someone, I promise you I will fire you on the spot. On the spot. No ifs, ands, or buts. So he didn't mean it? Uh, evidently <laughs> not. This starts at the top. Um, he works for Jill Biden. and we, Jill Biden's <laughs> running that White House. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. He works for Jill Biden, who the, has no, a doctor the, by the her accused, name? But... The accused person. Okay. Not, not hmm. the president. Right. But, I, but what I'm saying, I used to be a chief of staff. I was chief of staff to Governor John Huntsman. If you have but one person saying that there is a problem, you have to do an investigation. Mm -hmm. For the chief of staff uh, of the White House, that's their primary job, you have got to do an investigation. And for them to say it's unfounded, we're not even going to look at it, come on. Yeah, this they was know based it's So I was making fun of what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Maybe they all work for Dr. Jill Biden. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. This are, that was my takeaway from the article, yeah. personally. Look, this was based on a dozen current and former staffers. This line stood out to me. Within the White House, Bernal is regarded as rivaling even Zients. That's the chief of staff mm -hmm. in terms of power due to his access to the first lady and his ability to intimate that he's speaking for the Biden family. He has unmatched ability to influence yeah. things in the West Wing. When I was in the White House, I don't recall a single person from the first lady's office who had undue influence mm -hmm. on President Trump's West Wing. It is very curious to me, not to mention the hypocrisy of it all. Last line, they talk a big game about integrity, meaning the Bidens, decency and kindness. This is a former staffer. But when you work for the Bidens, you experience anything but that. Ooh, How wow. much power does Jill Biden have? And the hypocrisy is just blazing. Look, I mean, if they're using their power to get their favorite snacks in the break room, that's one thing. But <laughs> women around the office are saying that they are being harassed. Not OK. Not OK. We need more crackles, by the way, in the green room. I like that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Well, talk to I Dr. Like Jill too. Biden. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Call Jill. We're outnumbered in a moment.
Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.